Hello there and welcome back to a very different video. Today I'm just going to sort of tie up all the loose ends on this channel. There's a few projects that I've worked on that don't really need their own video. There's a few updates like I've got an Amazon affiliate now. So if you're planning on ordering any of the new sets from March, perhaps you're looking towards some April, May sets. And definitely be sure to head over to Amazon. There are some deals for certain sets day one. Otherwise, if you're waiting a few weeks, you'll definitely find some better deals on there. Unless you want to get your VIP points, of course, on lego.com. But alongside that, I'm now on Instagram. I've also linked that to a Facebook page if you want updates on Facebook. And I might try to do a similar thing for Twitter. Never had a Twitter account similar, to be fair, to Instagram and Facebook. I don't really use social media, so I've set it up just for certain notifications, for certain mocks that I do, just to repost some images. There are some better quality images of things you'll see in the video. Well, not better quality, but better angles for certain things. Over on Instagram, definitely be sure to check that out. That is all linked down in the description, and you can find all my links on a link tree that I have created, which might be the easier way of finding them all rather than going to specific videos, especially if you want to find something like Rebrickable, which though it is in the description of every video, is also featured on that link tree. But of course, today the main thing is the Sonic diorama up on my display. There's a few different Harry Potter things I'd like to mention. And just generally, everything that's happened off camera that perhaps you haven't seen that I think you might be interested in. Now, I do apologize if it sounds like my throat is dying throughout this video because I've recorded this so many times now, but hopefully this will do. And what you're looking at right now is my Clone Wars shelf, which hopefully by the end of the year will look a bit better than this. I mean, we've got the droid army there, which does look really cool. I'm taking heavy inspiration from episode one where the droid battalion are sort of divided into eight by eight squares. So you can see there's eight rows of droids there and I've got it about half complete. The Bad Batch are flanking the droids, perhaps taking a few out from the back and we've got a droidica there, which hopefully will have some more company by the end of the year. And then just a bunch of Clone Wars vehicles, a lot of custom walkers and different custom ships alongside actual sets there and you can see the newest battle pack just at the back with all the clones and we've got a few different clones out front here if i can move my mic out of the way you can see the 501st battle pack here with the heavy assault officer and specialist and i've also mimicked that using the 332nd battle pack and then a few of the other phase 2 clone troopers that we've got pretty recently now We'll get on to Benny in a second, but as I said, this will be a year-long project and hopefully it's looking a bit better at the end of the year, but there will be a bigger update as I am currently trying to piece together the AAT that we got with Ahsoka, a 332nd trooper and a few droids. So if I give the droids a few more vehicles, perhaps it'll look a bit more like a battle rather than an invasion. But as I said, we do have Benny here who's not looking too pleased to have been left on the shelf because I completely forgot to mention that I've got Benny in yesterday's video where I go over all of my licensed CMFs and as you can see because of that he's not looking very happy but I do have Benny from Lego Movie Series 2 and I double checked, triple checked that video, I'm not missing any other figures in fact they've all been put back in their display case over here so you can see most of them and perhaps i should put benny with the other spacemen because he was just in a tub of a bunch of other minifigures that i've got spare just hanging around and as you can see we do have this base plate still up here don't worry as you all voted in the community poll that you can see on screen the smith's display case will be getting got at some point soon but for now, instead of having just a blank space on the wall, I've decided to put the base plate up there. It's not really doing any harm. You can see I've got the two nails that hopefully will hold the Smith's display case. I'll probably end up putting screws there so it's a bit more steady, but the base plate doesn't look too much out of place. It's just a placeholder until I get the Smith's display. And if we go over to the Disney castle, you can see we have Sleeping Beauty here at the front with Mickey and Minnie to welcome you in. There is Donald and Daisy just on the balcony bit up there. 
We've also got Tiana. We've got, I think it's Mirabelle from the new Disney movie Wish. We're still yet to see that. There's actually the star that's just on the top of the castle here. We have Steamboat Mickey here from Steamboat Willy, which is another Lego CMF. There is a King Louis somewhere behind that. I'm not quite sure if you could see that. And if we take a look on the right hand side, just behind Dobby, we've got Hercules and Hades, Jack and Sally just on the right. So I have added a few of the older Disney minifigures here now. We also have Tinkerbell flying just at the top of that tower. And right at the very top, we of course have Stitch, the troublemaker himself, who is just chilling at the top of the tower. Once I piece together the old Stitch, I'll probably also add Stitch on there too. But it does look really cool. And if I can get an angle so you can see all of the mini figures, it does look really nice. Not much change to the Harry Potter display, though there is a little bit, as you can see with the Hogwarts Express. There is an updated column of steam coming from the train which is actually really cool because it's just been made with a Spider-Man web. And if I can twist this, there's a one by one bracket on the back, which just holds up some of these cloud base plates, which look like a bit of smoke coming from the train. And next to this train, we also have Voldemort and Harry Potter dueling. I know the ones are spewing the wrong colors. Harry should be orange and Voldemort's green, but we don't have any green web pieces and it just looks cool. It sort of resembles it. Harry's also in the wrong costume. He's in his Patronus costume and Voldemort's not in his green robes. But it does look cool and I think it resembles what we wanted pretty well. There's been no other update to the Harry Potter section besides the fact that now the Ravenclaw banner is in the place of the train. And hopefully that means we've got more space to display the castle. No update yet for the Minecraft display. We will start work on putting the animal buildings where we want them and likewise with the city there'll be an update within the next month or so but there's not really been anything done to it. I still need to find a minifigure for that chair. And then if we go up to Star Wars I definitely want to change a few of the hair pieces on minifigures so that might have its own video because as you can see Star Wars hair pieces aren't always the most accurate and we've still got to fill out the 20th anniversary minifigures here which as you can see Han, Vader and Lando, well Lando's got nothing to identify him by but these four minifigures are definitely looking good. Maybe I should have another row for the new 25th anniversary minifigures but I'll probably just end up whacking them where they fit in around so fives will be around the Clone Wars figures at the bottom but this look here is what I was talking about, this one came in a visual dictionary, I'm pretty sure, or a character encyclopedia. And that's why I think the 6th, 25th anniversary figure will be. It'll be the one in the dictionary that should be coming out April 1st. Still, We're still yet to see what that minifigure is, at least at the time of recording this video. And it doesn't have any special printing on the back, so it won't come with the 25th anniversary base plate in the new visual dictionary whereas the others still have the 20 years on the back i don't think fives and malik will have that printing on the back but they'll definitely come with the base plates either way i can't wait to see what the visual dictionary minifigure is and now before i wrap up this video we've got to take a look at the sonic diorama as that was sort of the point of this video. And before we get to the Sonic Diorama, which usually sits up there just behind my custom MIDI scale Venator, next to my custom MIDI scale or minifigure scale, even Fang Fighter, with all my other minifigure Star Wars builds that you can buy on Rebrickable, definitely check that out if you're interested in LEGO Star Wars. I'm running out of a lot of space on my shelves and I might have to end up getting rid of a few. Well, not getting rid of, I'll be parting out a few of these mechs especially the x-men ones i don't know if i can find the heart to part with them wolverine sort of falling over at the back the sentinel i am very likely to keep because that is a minifigure scale model and would look really cool with an x-men diorama when the new series comes out but i'll probably part out the figure ones and likewise with the sonic add the sonic figures to the diorama that sits there I've got the Clone Wars display on the bottom shelf and I also have my Star Wars ships which do look really cool. That Vader's tire is actually a custom model that I made and again the instructions are on Rubricable. Perhaps I should 
even had some instructions for the tire interceptor but that's a bit of an old set now but taking a look at the sonic sort of diorama display at least i have included the poly bag here you can see kiki is hanging out on this tree and you can actually position him so he's hanging and his foot sort of holding him up which does look really cool but it is a bit awkward to position so half the time they end up just falling anyway but as you can see he's staying up for this video so i am grateful for that and it does sort of represent the ideas set i've taken quite a bit of inspiration and rebuilt the bridge i wanted to keep the mechanism of the bridge that could be taken down because as sonic runs over it it will fall but it was just a bit too complicated for the space i was given so i've completely recreated that with a few stud and rounded tiles and i think it does look really cool but that is all for today's video my throat definitely needs a rest for tomorrow's i hope you enjoyed stick around for more awesome content very different than this this is definitely a one-off and may the bricks be with you always